Hello. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, we all, I'm over here at, at uh, Capitol Heights uh, Elementary School in uh, Capitol Heights, Maryland. And <laughs> one thing I realized was, you know, by me being in the area, I know where it's at, you know, but they don't have a sign out front. <laughs> um, only thing they have is the name on the school building and which is tucked away so really nobody would know where it's at so for the most part let me let me show you what i'm talking about so over here it's up here and it says capitol heights middle school i mean uh capitol heights elementary school right so if they're coming up the street from this way they'll bypass it and they wouldn't see it if they're coming up to school from this way okay so now if they coming down the street they're blocked by all of these bushes right here so they'll bypass it and then they wind up having to come back you know and uh or make a u-turn or something like that because of these bushes up here these crepe myrtles are shielding from the building part so my question is how do we get these babies a sign <laughs> we got to get them a sign okay so uh but on another note um this is uh pretty light today they when they cut the grass they uh the janitors cut the grass they cut it you know pretty pretty short so i'm not going to do any cutting i'm just going to do some you know pruning and trimming uh along the uh property area because it really needs pruning and trimming and blowing the grass that was left on the grass off so uh without further ado let me let me show you what i'm what i'm gonna do today so i'm gonna go and you know all of you know leaves and stuff i'm gonna blow down uh the two bushes down there i'm gonna prune those two bushes up down there Uh, I think this is a hazard, so I'm gonna snip some of these dead limbs off so it won't be such an eyesore for them. Um, snip some of those dead limbs off. So I was, I was cutting the tree. I literally didn't see until I was cutting the tree, really. You know, and I'm wondering, okay, why is it tucked away? Okay, so I guess this is like some kind of bed they got here or something like that. But, um, okay, well, let me show you. It's a sign that they got tucked away behind this crepe myrtle they got here that says there's only one you in this great world make it a better place capitol heights elementary school only one you inspired by the hook okay so you know i evidently you know they may have misspelled uh make but i mean hey it's an elementary school you know what i mean but that's one thing that i didn't understand why it's tucked away like that you know what i mean and i do think this is a great motivational piece and as as you could see it you could tell 
it's been back here for a while just about you know the, by the way it looks or whatever you know it's been back here for a while you know so i'm wondering well i think we're gonna have to get this from you know behind this crepe myrtle and put it visible for them to see so that it will give them more inspiration to um uh do better in school and stuff like that that's kind of odd you know what i mean so i'm gonna uh you know get back to work and i'm gonna find somewhere to uh put this and then at the end you know I'll, I'll show you where i put it at okay but they got it that don't make sense why i'd be a tuck back there like that i know you know a couple words of misspelled but i mean you know it, it is what it is it's elementary school but it's um um it's a motivational piece for them okay all right back to work uh with these great myrtles right here i'm uh you know cut up under them so they'll be able to see straight through so they can be able to see what's going on because even though you know you're up close at the school you know you never know who's behind bushes i'm a firm believer in that and uh we got to be able to see you know what, what what's going on okay with this tree right here we'll hit the lower limbs off of this so we can go ahead and see what's going on off of this As you can see, you know, it's cut low, but they left a lot of grass all in there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, you know, edge all of this up because, you know, as you can see, it's just like getting ready to overlap and it's overlapping the, the curb part, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead, trim all of this up over here and uh, blow all the grass off with this part. This is being the center part. I may cut it if it needs cutting after I do all of that. And then like here, all of this stuff right here is just, you know, bad in the front. So I'll go ahead and touch all of this up for them. Um, just in case, you know, they decide to use it.
I'm gonna just go ahead and trim all of this stuff. You know, like all the cracks that's coming up here because this is real bad. And then do some trimming because they don't do no trimming over here, no edging or anything like that. Hello. I stumbled on this. Well, I didn't stumble on it, but I looked at it. Uh, I saw it when I came, but I looked at it and I thought it was pretty cool. Let me, let me, let me show you. So they got artwork in front of the building, which I thought was cool, which says, you know, welcome, bienvenido, it says tolerance. We gotta have tolerance. Uh, if you're from the DMV, you know what this Cowboys versus Redskins is. <laughs> Cowboys all day though. All right, art, which it says good art. You know, and one, one thing we need to have and these children need to have is peace. Peace, yeah, you gotta have that inner peace, you know what I mean? And the most important, one of the most important things is be you, be you. You know what I mean? You can't you can't be nobody else. You gotta be yourself. You gotta be your authentic you. You know, and once we realize other people's opinion is none of our business, once we realize that we gotta keep smiling, we gotta keep persevering by any means necessary, everything will be good to go. But I thought this artwork was uh pretty cool. I I'll show you again. I thought I thought that was pretty cool out, out, out front to build. Okay, it's all about the kids. It's all about the kids, and we gotta get them to a brighter start. Okay. Oh, one other thing I saw. Kindness. Kindness. That's what we gotta have out here. Kindness. So peace, kindness. Gotta have tolerance and patience, and be you. All right, back to work. So, and another thing I wanted to do was, you know, I know they coming down the walkway over here, but you know, somebody may be trying to walk or something like that. And I don't know why they don't do it, but here, let me show you. I'm gonna cut all of these limbs off. See, they can't even walk down the walkway because all of the limbs they walk in they're gonna bust into all these limbs. So you gotta come to the side, which is the street part, and you don't want the kids coming to the street part. So all of these limbs are like literally busting you in the face trying to get into the scoop <laughs> or coming from the scoop. You know what I mean? Or everybody is just gonna be piled up over on that side and that's not good. So I'm gonna trim all of these back forms so they'll have a uh, nice pathway for them.
All right, so everything is all done. Um, let me show you where I put the sign at and I stand corrected. It was not misspelled. It was just the way they wrote it. Let me show you. So when they're coming up to the front door, they'll instantly see it right here as they're coming up to the front door. Okay. So as you see here, it's a loop here. So it's a seed and they put like a loop, like for a ribbon. Then it's an H, you know, and then they put a loop you know i guess for a ribbon and then the an e you know and then a loop like for a ribbon okay so they put the m and then by being uh paint i guess they messed up and couldn't really make the loop like that but it's it's, it's make it a better place so there's only one you in this great world make it a better place capitol heights elementary school only one you inspire by the book okay so when they walk up to the school they'll instantly see the sign and i think that's cool because there is only one you okay make the best of it and it was another piece that i saw that you know like i said when i come to these schools i just be fine and stuff <laughs> it's another piece let me show you so it's another piece when they're walking up, you know, to the school that's, that, that I found was kind of cool. This one says, uh, individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean. Yeah, that's, that, that's cool right there. That's real cool, you know. Then they got collaborations and communication, you know, uh, created by the students in the third, fourth, and fifth grade. You know, so you know that's 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 it's real cool. Learning science, you know, friendship, world peace, you know, dual language, Spanish, English community, you know. So this is this is you know real cool. What they got coming up here? Uh oh. They got the YouTube <laughs> with a smile. So don't forget to subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback, in my opinion, to help out the channel. If you want to support the channel, uh, the link is in the description. Okay? Yeah, so I thought I thought that was cool. Okay. So thank you, you know, uh, for staying to the end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, until the next time, this is Raglan Jr. coming from Next Generation Landscaper. Keep persevering by any means necessary. Until the next time, which will be next week, see ya!